What's up, guys? Dark Kelly here, playing Ghost Recon Wildlands, and today we're doing another episode of the Ghost Recon Wildlands Player's Guide. And as you guys know, this series is we post them these videos daily at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Today's, and they're on a variety of subjects. Today, something kind of stuck in my head. I want to see if the honey badger, which I have right here, is viable for use as an assault weapon. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, well, of course. Well, the thing is, and here's the thing, we're facing it off against an equally equipped assault rifle. And I'll explain why I'm doing that here in a second. Actually, pretty much right now. Let's have a look at... So the Honey Badger is kind of a... And it's a really odd weapon. I think it's part of why AAC stopped making it is because the debate over whether it was a pistol, a PDW, a short-barreled rifle, and the ATF, whatever, got involved, and they just stopped making it. No, that's my understanding of it. It's just, I don't know, kind of got lost. And I'm not uh, an expert on it. So someone who is, please please let me know. The unique thing with the Honey Badger is, there are two unique things about the Honey Badger, and that is that it fires a 300 blackout round, and it's it runs on an AR system, which is integrally suppressed. That's the other interesting thing. It's got an integral suppressor, and so it's got a gas system and everything built around that. The fact that, and that's also what makes it so darn short, is uh, the built-in suppressor, and it fires a 300 blackout round. And let's make sure the game denotes that. Yes, yes, uh, 300 blackout is 7.62 by 35. Of course. So the weapon we're comparing against is a 7.62 by 39. That's they're not they're not necessarily the same round, but it's the closest thing that we're going to get. I'll get to the other weapon here in a second, though. So the Honey Badger is a really interesting weapon. It's effectively an incredibly short AR platform weapon with a proprietary gas system based on the fact that it's suppressed. But here's the thing: the game, whoopsie, the game classifies it as a submachine gun. So we cannot compare the stats of these two. I want you guys to, if you haven't been here through all my testing, know that submachine gun stats are all relative to submachine guns. That's if these bars mean anything, which we still haven't, I still cannot prove they do or don't. I, in fact, I've disproved the stat bars more than I've proved them. So we're not going to worry about that. Instead, we're going to do a test today I like to call combat effectiveness. If you've ever seen any of my testing, that's, that's why I prefer to test damage and things like that combat effectiveness which is running the same base the same way with different weapons hoping it can be as consistent as possible with each run because that's how it matters is how it actually performs that said back to the stats regardless of those if those stats bars mean anything or not and i've got multiple videos proving they either they don't or they're just untestable regardless of that those are smg stats those are assault rifle test uh stats so these you know this being an assault rifle that damage bar, that accuracy bar, that's on a scale for an assault rifle. So you, even if these, if these do mean anything, you cannot compare these. I think anyone will agree. Anyone will agree. You know, if you have an assault rifle with damage all the way up, and then you have a sniper rifle with damage all the way up, exactly, it's going to take you half a magazine uh, from the assault rifle to destroy a car, whereas a sniper rifle will do it in one shot. That's basically what I'm saying. The other thing is this being this honey badger here being an SMG. Basically means an SMG is only, I mean, this is what I always say, and we're going to find out today if it's true or not. SMG is only useful. I don't need to lay down. I just need to get down. Um, I'm just going to let the chopper fly over. The uh, SMG, I always say, it's only useful in stealth while suppressed. Um, but then again, at you know, in that state, anything will kill anything in one shot. So that's not an effective combat kind of test. So we're going to have to run against alert enemies. The first thing we're going to do is a test that the honey badger is going to lose. And that's why we we're out here at my firing range on the runway in Via Verde. The honey badger, honey badger should lose this test, but we'll see. Oh, let's look at the weapon we're putting it up against. So that now I hopefully have explained why I'm running it against an AR. It's kind of an unfair test, but people say the honey badger is really powerful and really good as an assault weapon. Fine. So um, comparing it against another SMG seems moot. So let's compare it against an assault rifle. If, you know, it can be an assault weapon, let's test it against an assault weapon. Let's fire from 200 meters. Um, that should be good. Now that said, I have my, long, my longest SMG kill was with an MP7, and that was at a little over 400 meters. 
but with significant bullet drop. My longest assault rifle kill, I don't know, definitely over 500 meters. Um, with the Mark 18. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're going to test this out at 200 meters. Since we've already got the Honey Badger equipped, let's uh, make sure we're on single shot. And, oh, let's, yeah, I forgot, guys. I got sidetracked. Let's look at the, so this is the closest. Now, if you look at the length, this is the shortest assault rifle. This is why I chose the 5.56 XI. It's the shortest assault rifle that uses the same-ish ammo that I could get. That's why I'm using it. it uses 7.62 by 39, despite what the name may imply. It does fire 7.62 by 39 and is the shortest assault rifle I could get that used that kind of ammo. There's not many 7.62 by 39 weapons in this game. Most of them are long. 7.62 by 39, so that's the closest we're going to get to 300 block out. Look at the attachments. So on the Honey Badger, we have a... Um, we have a shift short angled grip, which is the best angled grip you can get, which is the best under barrel for an SMG. So I did a four grip V4 on this, which is the best under barrel attachment you can get for an assault rifle. You know, so equal. Because this keeps my my uh, my recoil down and just as the shift short angle grip keeps your shot group from wandering off to the side as SMGs tend to do. If, and if you're not aware of that, we'll have some videos on how recoil works in this game and such like that. We can do that in this series. They're both running laser sights. Uh, it's really the best option for the Honey Badger, so I slapped on in here too. Added possibly our little weight to the front, possibly. I haven't confirmed it, but might dampen recoil a little bit, but it's kind of the primary attachment that you want to run. Because the Honey Badger is integrally suppressed, I'm running a suppressor on this with the shortest barrel I can get. So I made this the shortest, and I'm keeping the buttstock on both of them to keep my accuracy. So they're going to fare better here on this test and better in the field. I mean, really should run a buttstock. That said, so now you know why I'm testing the Honey Badger versus the 5.56 XI. So let's get to it. Without further ado, we've got the Honey Badger, 200 meters, single shot. And we want to aim right for the bottom of this target. One shot. Let's see where we hit. The assault rifle should blow this away, but at 200 meters, there's not going to be a lot of drop off. Now there was. So the target is set right at, you know, well, right where it is. Um, remember, we aim at the bottom of the target, not the middle. So it's right at the, you know, that line dividing those two bricks. That's where I always set the target. Nowadays, anyway, for the last couple of years. That's where we set the target. And we dropped uh, one, two, three and a half bricks down is where we hit with the Honey Badger. All right, let's go ahead and swap weapons to the 5.56 XI. This is 200 meters. This is not a, it's not a super long engagement range, but, you know, long enough. Okay, this is already on single shot. Let's go ahead and... You always make sure that before you do that one of these tests and then <laughs> forget and ruin your wall with a bullet spray. Hmm. Wait, we might have something somewhat similar here. Well, they're actually really similar. In fact, the Honey Badger looks like it's more accurate at 200 meters because the 5.56 XI hit about, yeah, one inch lower. Look, I don't even have to point these out to you. The 5.56 XI hit about one inch lower. I honestly did not expect that. Boy, I hate getting unexpected circumstances in a test. Okay, so let's swap this out just really briefly, just accuracy and curiosity wise. Let's pick the most accurate assault rifle in the game, which is the AUG A3. This is the most accurate over distance. Uh, I've tested all of them, I think. Got a whole uh, video playlist on the testing assault rifles, which I can link in the description below. Let's equip this comparingly. I'm not, so this is at its best with a long barrel and a rangefinder, but we're not gonna be using that. We're gonna be equipping, the, equipping this the exact same way. Comp M4 scope, same. Not, that, not, that doesn't have any effect on this, but it, neither will this but regardless we're going to run the same everything that we can this will have no effect suppressor only affects the speed of the bullet and if you don't have the skill damage um i should mention that before i do tests i used to always mention i forgot to mention i've been forgetting to mention it this these you know here lately uh, this um so we're using the steyr aug a3 i have all my skills and all points and everything all 
you know, metals, everything's maxed out. So it's a fair testing ground for everything. So everything's, com all my skills and everything's completely maxed out. So a suppressor to me, the only thing it does is it slows the bullet down by about between, somewhere between a half and a third of the speed is all it does. Well, let's go ahead, scope in with this, put it on single shot, of course, and swap my optic. There we go. Now, this is the most accurate assault rifle in the game. And yeah, it hit a full brick higher, over, a, well, actually a brick and a half. That's about the distance of putting a longer barrel and a rangefinder on it, and it has neither. If you want to see how accurate, I mean, just, just as a, we're doing a tricky thing here, comparing an SMG to an assault rifle. I'll show you how accurate this weapon can be, how accurate over range, if you really want to see. So under barrel doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the rail. We're going to put a rangefinder on it and the barrel. These are the only things that are going to affect accuracy over range. If you really want to see how accurate this thing can get, it's like the sniper rifle of assault rifles. If you didn't know, now you know. We only dropped about, yeah, that much. Yeah. One brick down from the target at 200 meters, and we only dropped about the size of a human head. Not bad. So anyway, let's go back to what we were doing. We are comparing. So we've done accuracy, and it looks like I picked a good match because the 5.56XI actually has almost exactly the same accuracy as the Honey Badger. It's the shortest rifle with the same ammo. So let's run against... Um, an alerted base. Let's do two back-to-back -back combat effectiveness runs. I'll try to do... Oh, I'm also running with no teammates. No teammates because I don't want them getting in the way of my shots or taking shots for me on advanced difficulty. Uh, so, same parameters as usual. We're running no teammates. I'm going to make sure the base is alert and I'll show you where we're going. A good base to take for this is Tabakal. Tabakal base. It's a good-sized base. It has no alarm. We can fast travel right up here to Tabakal Alpha. It has no alarm, so we don't have to worry about choppers flying in because, let's face it, an, an SMG against a chopper, uh, let's, not, let's just not mess with alarms. This is a fairly good-sized base. It's got sniper towers. Um, and I'm going to try it. So um, no melee is allowed, just the use of one weapon at a time. So we're going to run it once with the 5.56XI as an assault weapon. I'm going to have to make sure that I'm not stealthy, though. I'm going to have to make sure I'm alerted at all times. Because otherwise, it's just one-shot kills, you see. Suppressed, any weapon, even if it's a PT-27, you know, even if it's a pistol. Doesn't matter. So, well, you guys know that. So, in order to do this, we got to make sure the base is alert. Let's get down, and let's get this whole place spotted. We're going to run with the, uh... Oh, there's a jammer here. Well, that is highly inefficient. Highly inefficient. Can I spot anyway? It almost looks like I can, doesn't it? How how am I spotting while jammed? Well, I don't know, guys, but it let me spot them. <laughs> it let me spot while I'm jammed. I don't remember there being a jammer here. Well, we'll have to find it and get rid of it. So we're going to go in first. We're entering right here by the water tower. Let's go in first with the 556XI. See me, see me, see me. Want to be alert. So, here, random grenade, be alert. Oh, it's still on uh, single shot. <laughs> Someone, you didn't remind me. You're supposed to remind me. And why can I not hit him? That's human error. Is this really the 5.56XI? Five, five, six, six, it's not behaving like an assault rifle. Not what I'd expect out of one anyway. 200 meters. Ah, uh, grenade. Oh, mortars. Okay, so there's a mortar pit here. Alright. Well, let's let's uh, circle around a little bit. And see if we can take out this sniper. Yep, he's down. Some of these guys are going to be unmarked. You guys count the bullets. I'm not counting bullets. And that one guy almost killed me. I don't know why I couldn't hit him. That was human error on my part. I have to find this bloody mortar pit. Let's pull up some... Uh, whoops, not that button. 
Ah, oh, shit, I'm getting reeled. I might die here. He caught me in my darn menu. But if you go in with him not alert, it's all going to be one-shot kills. And what kind of test is that? You know, that's no kind of test. So let's insert the same way. Let's do everything exactly the same except with the honey badger. And we'll see what we can see. All right, this time we're going to use the honey badger. And let's run in and make some noise. Get noticed. Yeah, spot me, spot me, spot me. I need a sniper to spot me is what I need. Hang on. Things are going unfolding a little bit differently this time. So we're skipping that sniper. So let's just stay close to the buildings. We have that heavy up there. Let's try to run this kind of the same. Mortars incoming. Okay. The guys are not behaving like last time. We already got a QRF in here. Apparently so. Hang on, out of the mortars. So this is the honey badger. And yeah, it's taking more rounds to kill them, which I kind of figured it would. Freaking heavy charging while I was reloading. That's never convenient. Stupid mortars, friggin' snipers. Wow, crazy effective so far. Uh, let's see if we can pull up some ghetto spotting real quick. Ah, they pulled me out of it before I could. Sniper took a shot at me. Ghetto spotting is when you literally just do this. And it won't let me... Sp okay, there. Pulled up some spotting. Ghetto spotting is when you are in combat and you literally just pull it up really quickly. And just, yeah, hit L2, hit down, and just push it. Wow. That was not my explosion. Oh, I must have hit a gas barrel or something. Oh, darn it. I fell down. This is not an advantageous position to be in. That's because someone crest that hill in any second and take a shot at me. So we got to climb back up. I didn't see that hill coming. Did you guys see it coming? I didn't see it coming. Oh, spot me, spot me. Yeah. want to stay spotted. Man, either I'm getting luckier or this is simply a way better weapon. The longer I live, the more we'll see. There's going to be a machine gun point up here. Somewhere there's a bloody mortar, but I just don't know where. Jesus, this thing is crazy effective. It's actually getting a solar rifle. So I do want to do a third run. Definitely want to do a third run. Let's uh, pulp some more spotting. Ugh. Ah, oh, it pulled me out of it again. That's always the prompt. This they're, they're spotting my bloody drone is the thing. Ghetto spotting. All right, that's so dangerous to do while you're engaging in combat. And there's a machine gunner up there, I think. Like up there somewhere is a machine gunner. No, that's just a regular guy. But there is one up there, I believe. Whoops. Whoo, right in the junk. Okay, let's take some cover because this is a bad position to be in. Um, I was already long dead by now with the 5.5XI. Was it luck or was it... I don't know. This is the same person doing the same base. Basically, completely unmarked. Uh, ghetto spotting. There. Hey, see, it works. When you're in a hurry, it works. Oh, it shiz. I don't even know where he came from. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. That actually lasted 10 times longer than I thought it would. But I was being as reckless as possible. The thing appears to do some pretty good damage because it took, if anything, it seemed less bullets. I mean, they went down super quick. You know what it probably was is the rate of fire. SMGs by nature have a higher rate of fire is probably what it was. Higher rate of fire is really important in this game because it keeps the enemy staggered. As long as they're staggered, they can't fight back. You know, they can't shoot back. What we're going to run here is something I don't usually run. And we are going to... It's probably already set up the way I want it. Yeah, we're going to run it with that. Why not? I mean, that's almost as good as V4 foregrip, to be honest. We're going to run it with... Uh, yeah, we're going to run it the... Yeah, this is... Yeah, it's already set up the way I want to run it. This is the this is the Mark 18 we're running. Um, this is going to be damn accurate, damn deadly. 
and uh, should be damn good competition for the honey badger. And we're gonna go in the same way. All right, so here we are for kind of our control test. I did really, really badly with the five, five, six, six. I, I know, but hey, it, you know, it was a run. It was a run. If it was human error, it was human error. Now I'm not saying I'm okay. Here's the thing with the tests. I'm not the best player. No, definitely not the best. And I'm using a controller, not a keyboard and mouse. True, but this is scientific testing. It's not how far can I get. It's how does each result compare to another. Being that, regardless of my skill, it's the same person doing the tests as similar as I can. And combat is a difficult to predict scenario. Well, here we go. Let's take it the sniper first and make some noise. Now this is with the best engagement battle rifle I can come up with, which will actually, yeah, even shoot through those damn holes. This, I'm using the Mark 18, which is an incredible weapon. Yeah, I shot him through that building. Yeah, he's already down. This is an actual assault weapon, is what I'm saying. Now we're gonna have to watch out, because there's gonna be, there's a couple heavies. Okay, we definitely made enough noise in this area. Let's be smart about it, as I've tried to be with the other run-throughs. But we're going to get taken down. We're going to get taken down with prejudice. I try to avoid being underneath this building, because guys like to come out of the dark down there. And let's get behind a car and regroup. Okay. This is with a real assault weapon. And we simply got to fall back at this point. And we're down. That's okay. I had a lot of guys coming at me. That's okay. I'd actually... I'm not concerned with dying in front of you guys. I'm not ashamed or embarrassed or whatever to die. Okay, that run's done. We saw how effective each weapon was. Let's go ahead and uh, call the video here. Because I don't want to make you all sit through half an hour video. We were doing testing. You know, the, the whole question being, is the honey badger viable as an assault weapon and I compared it against the most similar assault rifle that I could and then I took the best assault rifle that I could possibly build that thing was badass too I wish that had gone on longer if I'd had some kind of support or backup with me I could have lasted longer but that's okay it's not about how long I lasted it's about how effective the weapon was the 5.56 XI I felt it felt like a limp noodle to be honest it felt neutered the way it was with the suppressor taking on alert guys with the suppressor. Oh, I forgot I had a grenade launcher in my Mark 18. I could have just grenaded those guys. I mean, hey, I was doing full on assault. That's what I would have done. But hey, hindsight's 2020. So yeah, the 5.56 XI felt like a wet noodle in my hands. It just felt neutered. It just did not feel. The Honey Badger felt more precise, more quick. And you saw I made a lot quicker better kills with the honey badger we're not taking the time i don't take the time i stayed alive necessarily because some of it was due to human error and some of it was due to just rng you know a lot of it was rng you know guys being in certain pla you know certain places at certain times and i had to keep moving with the punches i actually ran off camera another run with the mark 18 and made it further into the base the thing is crazy accurate so here's the question, Honey Badger, which we have right here. And I'm sorry about the, the weather. I mean, I can't change the weather. I can redeploy again, but it's just rainy today, guys. Is the Honey Badger viable as an assault weapon? Yeah, it definitely is viable as, as an assault weapon. In fact, yeah, it made that 5.56 XI. That's not it. But it made the 5.56 XI look like this thing performed better. And if you recall back to the beginning of the video, they had the same bullet drop. Uh which I actually found quite astounding. Uh, so that's why I ran it against, okay, so let's take it against the real assault rifle. No contest, the Mark 18 is way more dead on. Um, I've killed enemies at, yeah, up to, up to possibly over 500 meters with a single burst with the Mark 18. No, the Mark 18 is way more deadly. But the Honey Badger is viable as an assault weapon. If you want to run it, by all means run it. Um, it's great because enter in stealthily and quietly and then if you do get alert I mean, that's the point of an SMG and then if you do get alert it will run great as an assault weapon Being an SMG. It's gonna have a smaller sound radius. So you're gonna be able to move stealthier quicker with it It reloads quicker. It aims quicker But the mark 18 dude 
Um, I'm just saying, if you want to use a full-on assault weapon, use a full-on assault weapon. But yeah, the Honey Badger is absolutely viable, and I was surprised to find it had the same bullet drop as... Well, if it has the same bullet drop as the 5.5 XI, it's going to as some other similarly equipped assault rifles as well. All right, guys, I hope that this... I hope you guys got something from this. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like this video has gone on a bit long, but when I do testing, I like to do testing thoroughly, and today was a good thorough test. Um, remember, episodes of this uh, comes out uh, every day at 6 p.m. Eastern. Every day I do something different. It's been weapons test a couple times here in a row. Maybe next time we'll do something different, another mission guide or something, whatever you guys want. Be sure to subscribe, comment below, like the video if you uh, like what you see, and uh, check out the links in the description below. There's a link to the full playlist of this yeah, uh, Wildlands Player's Guide. There's a full playlist down there, link, so you can see the rest of the episodes that you may have missed, and um, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can see the, the new ones that are coming out. There's also um, going to be a link, there's also a link in there to my Patreon. If you want to become a patron of the channel, uh, the support is much, much appreciated, and the same with the PayPal link down there. If you want to make a one-time donation to help the channel out, that's very, very much appreciated as well. Also down in the description, I'm going to have links to, if I if I can find them, I'll have links to my tests of the Mark 18 and the Honey Badger. I should have tests down there. I'll, I should have test videos of them somewhere when they first came out, and those may be down there too. So check the description and comment on the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is Dark Daly. Yes, the Honey Badger is a viable assault weapon. You can enter in with an SMG, and if things get loud and rowdy, you can still stand up with the best of them. But it's still no match for a real actual assault weapon that's kitted out the way that it should be. Um, but you're going to make a lot more noise and have to be a little more precise. I don't know. Take what you saw for what you will, you know. Take it as you will, and I'm sure you guys will leave me your opinions, as always, in the description. Remember, the best weapon is the weapon that you use the best. You know what I mean? That's what I always say. The best weapon in the game is the one that you can use the best. So everyone's going to have their own opinions. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm Dark Deli. I'll catch you tomorrow.